review some uh, definitions. So f is convex if f of y is greater than equal to f of x plus gradient of f of x times y minus x for any y. And also definition of f, I, f is uh, beta smooth, which I can write f a gradient of f of y minus gradient of f of x is less than equal to beta times y minus x. So this is uh, gradient is Lipschitz. We say that gradient is Lipschitz. And so we can conclude from beta smoothness that uh, I showed you in my previous lecture that f of y is less than equal to f of x plus gradient of f of x y minus x plus beta over 2 y minus x squared. So this is y is uh, the quadratic upper bound and f is this one. This is the especially this one. Uh, and so f of y is upper bounded by a quadratic function as I showed in the previous lecture. Now I want to show you that gradient descent guarantees improvement even the tiny step size. So from what I just wrote, I can write that f of x plus gradient of f of x times y minus x plus beta over 2 y minus x squared. So gradient descent, as I showed you, x plus, you can write it as x minus eta gradient of f of x. So just uh, let's put it uh, instead of y, I write, so instead of y here, I write x plus, f of x plus, this is the second point in our iterations. f of x plus, uh, so I can write it as gradient of f of x times, so instead of this one, I write, I write x plus uh, minus x, x plus minus x plus beta over 2. So instead of this, I write x plus minus x and this is less than equal to f of x plus uh, I use I want to use this uh, gradient descent to see what happens plus minus eta gradient of f of x times gradient of f of x so I've just substituted that gradient law to see what happens. So this one, if you simplify that, instead of uh, this, you, you can write it with some norms, f of x minus eta, uh, gradient of uh, f of x, plus beta over two, uh, eta 2 gradient of f of x squared and this one is less than equal to f of x minus eta 1 minus eta beta over 2 I just simplified that so this one by itself is positive Okay, no problem. So, and this one, I might, I want to make it positive. So, if I just put eta is less than 2 over beta, then I make it positive. So, it's small enough to make a gradient descent go, to make it a really decent algorithm. So, by putting that, uh, I, will, I will show you that you can, you can easily find that now by substituting that, 
we have this one. And uh, so you see the gradient descent is really a decent algorithm. If you just restrict the step size by less than, it should be less than two over beta. And uh, so I want to show you that, so I, I approved the first part, which f of x squared, this is the a part, I proved it, I've already proved that, is less than f of x minus f of x plus. But I also want to show you that this one, I mean the second part holds as well, which is less than beta over two, x minus x plus two, and x plus is a solution of uh, minimization of f of x. And so I write f of y is less than equal to f of x plus gradient uh, of uh, f of x times y minus x. So instead of y, I just write x, and instead of x, I just write the optimal solution. So plus beta over 2, y minus x squared. So you can write f of x is less than f of x plus plus 0, because at optimal point, uh, at optimal solution, you have 0 gradient and times x minus x plus plus uh, beta over 2 x minus x plus squared and f of x minus f of x plus is less than equal to beta over 2 x minus x plus 2 and so we have we have proved the second part as well so let's uh, define uh, the concept of co coercivity. So by definition, if uh, F is smooth, if if F is smooth is beta smooth, then uh, you can write this gradient of f of x minus gradient of f of y times x minus y is greater than 1 over beta gradient of f of x minus gradient of f of y squared. So uh, the proof is very simple, and uh, so. But I want to show you uh, the concept of strong convexity. That if uh, f is alpha strongly convex, then f of x minus alpha over 2 x squared is convex. So I want to prove this theorem. The theorem says if f is alpha strongly convex, then you can write uh, alpha over 2 x minus x plus squared is less than f of x minus f of x plus f of x star, which is your uh, optimal point. Sorry, f of x plus, same, same notation, is less than 1 over 2 alpha gradient of f of x squared. So for A, for part A, I can say that f of x is greater than f of x plus uh, plus a gradient of f at point at your optimal solution. I mean, the inner product of that and x 
minus x plus because this is zero so the inner product is zero plus alpha over two x minus x plus squared so uh, a is very easy to prove uh, b for b i can write that because f of f of x plus is uh, greater than some because f of x plus is greater than that then it is also greater than minimum of that phrase with respect to y subject to y so I can write like this, plus alpha over 2, y minus x squared. And so we take the derivative because we want to solve this uh, optimization problem as well to understand this inequality. Uh, so take derivative with respect to y, uh, the first one take derivative with respect to y is zero. The second one is gradient of f of x because this is the only coefficient. And uh, the last one take derivative with respect to y is alpha over two, y minus x. And so you have find y y is x minus 2 over alpha gradient of f of x. So by using this y, uh, put it, put it uh, in the equation, you will notice that f of x minus f of x plus is less than equal to 1 over 2 alpha mm, gradient of f of x. And so we have proved the second part part B as well. So part B is proved as well.